Hello everyone, this is Zodiac, and today we're taking a walk down memory lane. Final Fantasy IV. Um, Dwarven Castle, 40 Energy Fight. Single round. Uh, Shadow Dragon Scale. This is not a new item, but acquiring a second one wouldn't be bad either. Uh, if less than three items is used... We get some Magma Rock Fragments. If Golbez is defeated with magic, we get a 20% Lightning Resist Materia. If the Shadow Dragon is defeated with an Esper, we get a 5% Moogle. Um, we're going to go ahead and make it interesting and grab this gentleman here. But, the lineup very different lineup to what most people are going to be using for this fight because the characters in this minus the Golbez are the actual characters from the actual fight yes we are doing a true representation as close to as possible so we got Cecil who has literally come back from the dead uh, getting some really good love in here for gear Got some decent elemental resist for the four that he typically will be using in this fight, which is dark, fire, ice, and lightning. Uh, go Golem for an Esper. Uh, cane, not a toning Dragoon Cane. This regular cane is geared for Dragon Killer and some jumping. So. We'll see how he works with this. Yang is going to be geared for Maneater. Also, I'll further add that everyone has Paralysis Resistance. And Cecil had the safety bit for Death Resistance. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. Alright, I believe we've covered him. Uh, Rosa will be our healer. She has some decent elemental resist. But we've also given her a Genji shield through the use of the shield gauntlet, which, by the way, is an amazing accessory and should be purchased from the current Choco, Mama Choco. And she's also got access to a hairpin of purity and some spirit increases. Redia. Not Pure Summoner Rydia. Rydia, because she was an adult when she came into this fight, will be using a Leviathan build. She's got Divine Art of War to increase that damage. Evoker's Horn, you know, his clothes. Gimba Ring for HP increase, a ribbon. And because she can only hold three slots, a Yevon's Wisdom, an Evil Magic 15, and an Evil Magic 10. And we brought a Golbez in just in case we somehow go south on this. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and give this a go.
Ugh. That was close. So Golbez's current resistance is to light magics. Which is fine because I don't plan on doing any light magic abilities. Just gonna have to work them down. I can always use Rubicante's power to heal if I need to. There's our limit break gauge. Someone got him on accident. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, not a problem yet. He has a threshold at 49, so even if I do go crazy on this, I think it's just gonna cause it to stop here. Yeah. Oh no, Yang's dead. Okay, I'm going to set Golbez up to dual cast with Flare. Just in case Leviathan does happen to go crazy on this. Got it. And that's the fight. I'm not gonna lie, that was a pretty fun challenge there. So yeah, winnable with the original cast, if you do so happen to choose to do so. Well, hope everyone enjoyed the video, and I'll continue doing more like this in the future. Thanks for watching.